In previous videos, I've described in detail my MCAT study strategy and also my study plan that allowed me to go from a 500 to a 513 MCAT in just three months of studying. But in this video, I wanted to detail my MCAT study materials and also my resources that allowed me to score a near 90th percentile MCAT score. Let's get started. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. For those of you who may be new to my channel, my name is Terrence. I'm an accepted medical school applicant and I'll be starting medical school this upcoming August of 2020. In order to achieve your dream MCAT score and accomplish your MCAT study goals, the first strategy that you need is to come up with a study plan and an approach that properly fits uh, your study plan. So if you have interest in any of the videos that I previously made, how I increased my MCAT score, how I mastered the biology section to achieve uh, 130 plus score, make sure you go check out my MCAT advice playlist on my channel. I'll also link it uh, in this video here. But the second thing that you need in order to achieve your, your dream score is to have the right materials that work for you. And in this video, I'm going to be going through my study materials and detailing the different things that I use to accomplish uh, my score and eventually get into medical school. All of these study materials mentioned in this video will be linked in the description down below. So make sure you go check that out if you're interested in purchasing any of the items that I mentioned in this video or just looking to check them out for your uh, comparisons in MCAT study resources. I want to first start off this video by talking about things that are not necessarily uh, MCAT study materials, but things that I personally used uh, to allow me to study at my maximum efficiency. So the first thing is headphones. I'm somebody that needs uh, peace and quiet when I study. I cannot really study with people around. Uh, sometimes I like to also study with you know, lo-fi uh, you know, beats or study music. So uh, headphones are huge for me. I have a few headphones I'm gonna mention here. The first ones are JBLs and these headphones are uh, the cheaper of the, the three that I'm gonna mention. And they're nice because they're lightweight, they're noise canceling, and it allows you to kind of block out all of the uh, ambient noise that are going on around. You kind of lessen if you're in a you know crowded or loud spot, it kind of lessens and dampens the noise a little bit. The second thing I have are these Sony headphones, uh, very similar. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive, but they are also noise canceling. And I love these. These are what I use uh, or I use for most of my studying. And you know, they're great. They are comfortable. Uh, they're a little bit heavy, but they are noise canceling and they did the trick. The last thing is AirPods. So I recently just got AirPods and I like these because they're also noise canceling. The AirPod Pros are what I have, but the regular AirPods uh, will do just fine if you play, you know, white noise or different things like that. And the nice thing about the AirPods are they are not so heavy. So I realized that when I was studying a lot with the over the ear headphones, I was having a, you know, neck pain a lot of the times because of bad posture or, you know, just studying with something on your head. Um, gave me a little bit of neck pain from time to time. So I like the fact that, you know, AirPods I could just throw on and, and it's nice and lightweight. The second thing I wanted to mention was to definitely use your smartphone uh, to your advantage. If you are somebody that don't, doesn't have, you know, an iPad or maybe an iPad mini uh, for studying on the go or different things like that, uh, definitely take advantage of your smartphone. There are so many different things that you could do with it. Like for me, I would had biology notes in a Google Doc that, you know, I would go through and study when I had some downtime. If I wasn't, you know, in a formal studying area like the library, if I was just waiting for something, I would just go through. I also use, you know, Quizlet uh, packs and you can even use Anki uh, cards on your smartphone and just different apps like that allow you to still study on the go. So definitely take advantage of your smartphone if you don't have something like an iPad or an iPad mini. So now let's get into what I use for content. So first off, I want to mention that I use a bunch of different study materials for content. I didn't just use, you know, Kaplan or Princeton or uh, one or the other. I use a bunch of different things. I also took a private tutor uh, for my MCAT studying. So that's where I got a lot of my content for uh, chemistry, organic chemistry, a little bit of biology, biochem and physics. Uh, that's where I got most of my content. I've heard the course is very similar to you know, the online course of the bundles like Kaplan uh, bundles or Princeton bundles. And it's, in, it's comparable in price and also experience. So if you're interested in getting those things, especially the bundles, if you're interested in self-study, I'll make sure I link them uh, here for you. One book that I did actually in fact purchase that was recommended to me by my MCAT tutor was uh, this Princeton review book here, uh, the MCAT biology review. I actually got the wrong book. There's actually a later edition that has bio and biochem in it, but I 
you know, swear by this book. It's, it's what allowed me to really strengthen my biology content and go from a 124 bio MCAT score in my first attempt to a 130 on my second attempt. So I swear by this book, I outlined every single chapter and that's what I had in my Google docs when I was studying it. And it really helped me uh, boost my content knowledge. So I would definitely vouch for this book. If you're looking for something in the bio biochem area that you need, you know, you need to help uh, improve your score. For psychology and sociology, I predominantly relied on the 300 page Khan Academy uh, psych social summary that was made by MedBros. I'll link uh, their Facebook page down below. And I'll also uh, have my email if anyone's just interested in emailing me directly to get the version that I used to study. But because for me, at least the psych social section seemed very, very definition uh, heavy. And that was the main focus, just understanding definitions. I used the majority of the Khan Academy. I didn't use any other resources. I just used Khan Academy modules and that 300 page summary. I also used Dex just to help me uh, understand and help me memorize a little bit better. So I use Quizlet Dex. There's also Anki Dex out there, um, but I'll link the Quizlet Dex that I use uh, personally for uh, my heavy yield content and also, you know, psych social content. So that was everything as far as content materials that I used in order to uh, study and refine my content. Now let's talk about practice questions and what I use for my practice questions. So the biggest thing that I was told by my tutor and you know, the things that I looked up online was to make sure that I found and used resources that very uh, closely mimicked uh, AAMC's question style. So I tended to lean a lot towards AAMC uh, materials other than, you know, besides, you know, Princeton and Kaplan and those different types of things. Uh, the old AAMC official guide uh, with AAMC practice questions from old exams. Uh, the latest AAMC official guide, I use both of those to get practice questions in. Uh, for cars practice, I used uh, what there was, what was given in the AAMC official guides, as well as exam crackers, 101 passages. I thought that those did a pretty good job at, you know, getting me used to uh, taking practice questions with cars and allowed me to have enough practice questions where I could do, you know, multiple passages a day for a long period of time. So uh, th those were good. And exam crackers is something I definitely, definitely recommend and was highly recommended for me. I also purchased the double AMC MCAT prep bundle, which is a little bit more expensive, but it has so many questions for every single section, definitions and descriptions of what you got wrong. Uh, not as good as you world, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, but they have you know, all those questions for every single section. They also have uh, five practice exams, I believe. So one sample test and four uh, practice exams. And it also comes with uh, a deck of flashcards of just uh, regular isolated uh, discrete questions that you could practice with multiple choice. Because I took and studied for the MCAT twice, I went through a majority of the double uh, AMC prep bundle with the questions. So I wasn't seeing things for the first time really when I went through them again on my second attempt in my second go around at studying. So in order to make sure I had fresh questions and I wasn't running out of questions, I got the U world uh, prep bundle and that was huge for me. I talk about so much how U world uh, was very, very beneficial for me. I even made a video about it that I'll link uh, in this video and you know, U World was key for me. It gave me so many extra questions and it just allowed me to refine a lot of my skill uh, as I kept, you know, progressing and later, later in my schedule and I got closer and closer to my MCAT. So lastly is practice exams. And what I used for my practice exams when I was studying were the AAMC practice tests from the MCAT prep bundle. And when I originally was doing it, it had the sample tests and it had three uh, practice tests. Now it has a sample test and four practice tests, which is even better for you guys. What I use other than that was next step practice questions. And I recently got a question about them. You know, were they similar and they, they are close, but the one thing that kind of, I didn't really like about them was the car section. The cars were very, very far off from how the MCAT really likes to, you know, the real MCAT likes to uh, ask their questions. So I wouldn't recommend it for the car section and I wouldn't really pay attention to the score that much, uh, but I use them predominantly for uh, just practicing with endurance and practicing with stamina. And I didn't really pay too, mu too much attention to the score. I really focus on that double AMC scores in order to kind of test my readiness. So that wraps up this video. That is everything I use to achieve, you know, my MCAT goals. I'm very grateful for all the materials and everything that I came across and, you know, all the people that I 
ask for advice and everything like that um, because it really allowed me to get my MCAT score that I wanted, achieve my goals and you know ultimately get admitted to medical school and have these options to apply to these medical schools because I took advantage of those resources. Uh, if you have any additional resources that you want to link down below to help somebody out, feel free to make a comment down below. Thank you again for watching this video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and like the video if you enjoy this video. I'll be putting out content just like this every single week. So make sure you subscribe. Good luck to everyone that is studying out there. You got this. Crush the MCAT and let's get it.